Hello Anisat Gaming Time, I know you have a lot of the questions of where have I been and we will be talking about some new stuff but first here's the intro. Right, so I've been ill, I have since like last Wednesday I have. Um, that's why you haven't gotten any uploads. Um, I'm pretty like last time I checked, nearly all the subscribers that I had beforehand were still here. So I appreciate that I do that you're able to wait for me to come back. And if you follow my Twitter, which is at comhatton, you should know that I was ill. So and it sucks to be ill. Honestly, it does. Now even I'm saying I'm back and there'll be uploads. Um. One thing I will say that you have, I'm gonna have to be a bit careful because in the minute of the timing of this recording, I'm still in an area where, hey, I could be ill again. So, yeah, I just thought I should let you know that you may get an upload on one day and then you may not get nothing for about three days because that's how things are going at the moment. But hopefully, we can come back fully. So, first up, I just want to say that Baldi. Basics have made the goal on Kickstarter. Congratulations, congratulations. Ah, uh, seeing a Kickstarter succeed is just amazing. Like, now we can continue this. We can continue the fun that we've had with Baldi Basics. And yeah, I have been watching for the hind. I do plan to do a lip sync video on one of the songs I do. But I can't wait to see what will be coming in the future. I know it's going to take some time, but well done. Well done. Now, before I tell you some stuff about Battlefront 2, I just want to say whoever did the, um, I don't know, the promotional art or whatever for this community mash to transmission, I just want to say it looks amazing. I love it. Honestly, I love it. Just, I, I love it. If you could do this with all community transmissions, that would just be awesome, that would be. Funny enough, I have searched up other Battlefront 2 YouTubers to see if they've reported on the, this at the time of the recording. No, not yet. It's been quiet recently. Apparently this got leaked, but now it's actually here. Not really a leak, but anyway. So, incoming transmission. We are back for another community transmission, and this time around, we are going to be talking about the Elite Corps update, which is due to arrive on August 29th so I'm guessing that's at the end of the month which is maybe this week uh, next week sorry <laughs> okay uh, so clone trooper appearances okay so the 40 the 41st elite corpse or elite corpse I can't say those words as they come to be known, were a division of the Republic Army that were involved in many iconic battles during the Clone Wars. Towards the end of the Clone Wars, the Elite Corps were presented, were presented at the Battle of Kashyyyk alongside Jedi Master Yoda. They came to the aid of the Wookiees on their homeworld. Uh, other notable appearances were on Genosha's, where the elites were sent to assist Anakin Skywalker in retaking the planet. So it details some history it does, and then the new clone trooper appearances will be priced at 20,000 credits or 500 crystals each, available for assault heavy and specialist classes for the Galactic Republic. If you're looking up to pick up all three appearances for each, uh, whatever that word is, then you'll be able to take advantage of of a bundle that costs 40,000 credits. Oh, a bundle. Wow. Uh, have I seen anything like that in Battlefront 2? I can't say I can. I like the new promotion picture. It's like now we're actually getting something new. Heroes and troopers, emotes and victory poses. 
In the next update, you'll be able to purchase emotes and victory updates for both heroes and troopers alike. This has been an often requested feature, so we are really pleased to see this release in the game and look forward to seeing what you get up to with your new emotes. Hero emotes and victory poses will cost 2,000 credits or 50 crystals each. Trooper emotes and victory poses will cost a thousand or twenty five quid. Okay. I mm, I don't mind that, honestly. Um like I think that's bringing in some new prices that they are able to price stuff under the five thousand mark, so um I yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting. I I'll, I'll buy one but again I need to keep my credits so so we um so I'm able to get Kenobi and all of that. So um yeah. Gonna be two in these ones. Okay. Coming to Blast and Custom Arcade Naboo Hanger. <laughs> okay. The feed hanger on Naboo is a bit of a favourite alongside the community, so we are pleased to confirm that we are making it available to both Blast and Com and Custom Arcade. That's honestly amazing, Ivor. <laughs> I think the community have always wanted that. It's been ridiculous why it hasn't been there, but like there's been mods for it and it's finally coming. It's just amazing. Like he did tweet out like a, a teaser for this, but <laughs> anyway, it's here to say Ewok Khan goes permanent. Oh, this, oh, that's just amazing. Ewok Khan has been a favourite alongside the community since its introduction with the Knights on Endor update and there's been a lot of talk surrounding in its temporary nature. As a part of the next update, the Ewok Hunt will be here to stay as a permanent game mode within the operations menu. That's amazing. I quite like Ewok Hunt because they introduced a new character I did and it didn't make sense for it to keep coming and going. It should have really just stayed or if you're ever going to give us the Ewok as a reinforcement, that would be good. But this is just doing it one thing better. Breaking down the score, end of round screen. Okay, you'll, you'll now be given a breakdown of your score. And, um, <laughs> whatever that word is, um, assault, deaths, your longest kills, strike as well as an overall placemat on score. Your combat placement and your oper operation score placemat and whether or not you're on the win winning team. Remember, always play the objective. Okay? Um, Oh, okay. I see. I see what they mean. It's something new where the credits are earned. Okay, I get that. New playlist titles. Prequel error maps. Okay. A new tie in the home menu will allow for quicker matchmaking into the Clone Wars related maps on Galactic Assault. By selecting that tie, you can permit matchmaking for Clone Wars error maps. However, if a match is currently not running on any of these maps, you will get into any other Galactic Assault map. This is the first step to help improving the matchmaking in the game. We are consistently working on improving our systems and serve to archive progression the better matchmaking going forward. So what I'm guessing that means that it's gonna be a similar be a little bit similar of how Battlefront 2015 is. I don't know if that's the only thing that I could really say about it, but we're just gonna to have to see what it really means next week. Okay, something important. Information update, hero prices. Back at EA Play, we announced that Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Grievous, Anakin Skywalker, and Count Dooku 
were set to arrive in the Star Wars Battlefront 2. One of the most common questions we received revolved around their pricing. Today we can confirm that we are targeting a price of 35,000 credits for each of the new heroes. We come to this pricing using our in-game tournament data to determine the speed in which players are earning credits. As well as the advantage of amount of credits each player has saved up, which tells us in the new which what this tells us is that for the newcomers or players with a credit balance of zero, it shouldn't take too long to earn credits needed and for, for, I can't say that word, players, you're most likely to have enough credits already or you are very close into reaching that amount. I have over that amount. I was able to afford the Lando ship when it came with the solo season. So, um, th yeah, this sounds honestly amazing. Again, 35,000 credits is the same as the Lando one. So, yeah. So, from what I'm guessing, if we get two heroes in full, um, that means that, well, I have a math question for you. What's 35,000 add another 35,000? <laughs> okay, information update. X2 bonus multiplier. You will notice in the release notes that a fix for the X2 bonus multiplier is not listed. This is because the X2 multiplier will be removed in, in the upcoming updates as part of the squad system. Because of this, we are lowering the bow the bow point cost for all heroes and units across the galactic assault. Below, you can find the old costs and the new costs. Oh. These new costs will be activated once the Elite will, will update releases on August 29th. Okay. So, so are they just putting them down, are they? Okay. So, Hero costs, so, for example, this one here, 6,000 going to 4,000. So, if you earn that much, will it be that? I, okay. Honestly, with me, when new updates like this come around, I um, learn as we go along. I'm not going to be reading the bug fix fixes and improvements. You can go and see if other YouTubers will be reporting on that. Because to me, I don't know. Um, it doesn't feel important to me. So if you want to go and see that down below, link down below. Now the last two. Looking forward, the world map update. Now this may be something that you may be a bit disappointed about. The next roadmap updates will arrive next week. In this update, we'll break down the seasons fall and winter and provide details on future content to to expect month by month. So what they're trying to say is that it it will arrive next week. And now many people are thinking, hey, after the community transmission, will it come after? Well, no. I'm sorry. It it really seems it's not gonna be coming anytime this week but next week it will come in with the other update okay now the community spotlight which is the last thing on this Battlefront Captures is a community over on Reddit that provides themselves in the creation of some of the best Star Wars Battlefront related content that you'll find a great place to visit if you're searching for a new desktop, desktop wallpaper why not take part in one of our capture contests well that's still going on check out the recent check out their recent clone capture contest to see but to see what they are all about and then it has some of this click to view so anyway so that is the update so that's basically everything apart from the apart from the bugs and the fixes and whatever 
What do I think of this? Well, the art is basically amazing. I honestly love what they've done with this. This is probably the best seeing community transmission I have seen in like a while. Like this is honestly beautiful. The fact that they took time to actually make like little borders around all of this is just amazing. It is to me. I'm like many people again will still hate this update. The fact that we're not getting any new heroes at all. I think that's what many people actually uh, wanted. Um, so yeah, it's always a disappoint. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that other Star Wars Battlefront 2 YouTubers will have talked about this. Um, before me because if it's just me and not really anyone else then I'm going to kind of be worried about the Battlefront 2 community but we'll see. Anyway thank you guys so much for watching. Peace guys and see ya.